Tech Naga from class 9A and my question that I am very curious to know is that is being a lawyer dangerous? Is being a lawyer dangerous? I mean, if you will win some case or lose, the, or will lose some, so of course someone will have a problem with that. So I would say being a lawyer is not at all dangerous. It's there's always a hesitation in the mind whether we'll be on the win side situation or the lose side situation. But we always try our best. We always see learning and we always think what best we have, whatever we have delivered is the best. We always see this in mind, whatever we are going to deliver before the court is the best thing. So just carry forward what Mohan Bhagavad has said. The point is whether it's dangerous or not. First and foremost, have a distinction in your mind. Who is it dangerous for? Will it be dangerous for teachers? No, hopefully there are no rowdy students, it won't be dangerous for them. Will it be dangerous for legal journalists? No, it won't be dangerous for them. Will it be dangerous for corporate lawyers? Not in another state, how they thought they are not going to go to jail, so it won't be dangerous. Will it be dangerous for litigation lawyers? So that is a question that is amply applied in this case. First and foremost, distinguish whether it's a civil lawyer or a criminal lawyer in a broad term, right? For civil law, it's hardly any dangerous situation with a right like my brother said that if a doctor's also if the surgery fails, so many every other day we are seeing news that the family of the uh, member who's died, they've attacked the junior lawyers, the, the junior doctors, they've attacked the residents and all. So that dangers are there with each and every field. In criminal law, I'll be very honest and candid, it can be, depending on what type of practice you have. There was a very eminent lawyer, Mr. Madan, who was a body lawyer, based lawyer, and he was purely criminal lawyer defending the mafia and all. In the 90s time, I'm talking about the long way was burning with mafia and gangsters. He was killed by one of his own clients when he wasn't able to secure the bail. In my situation, I'll give you a very light example. I'm not aware how many of you are aware of this uh, Mr. Kamal Khan who started this Khalistani movement, which was going on in the past two years. I was representing one of his financiers, and they've been not taken away in the NIA Act, and now we got some relief for them from the Punjab High Court, but irrespectively, there was an intelligence bureau car outside my house to work. The intelligence view is part of the government agency. They were tapping into my phones to see who all I was contacting and we got to know from their internal sources. They're tapping me, my business partner and my associates. So it's not dangerous for me at all. But the government has their, has their eyes on me. Your privacy is violated depending on the types of cases you are doing. But it can be a one-off situation when if you are representing a gangster who you have not been able to secure a bail for, they may rent out something, but as as a norm, remember, everyone fears lawyers. Because lawyers can do with the law and with you what no one else can do. So, if anything, lawyers are dangerous, more than the fact to think that law can be dangerous for lawyers. Thank you so much, sir. That was a very, very nice explanation from your thought. And you're, you're thankful for that.